Today we'll be showing you how to overclock your monitor with NVIDIA Control Panel. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. If you know even a little about technology, you've probably at least heard of overclocking before. But even those who spend their time tweaking the computer may not know how easy it is to overclock your monitor. This goes beyond resolution tweaks. You can actually increase your monitor's refresh rate without spending a dime. This won't work for every monitor though, as it depends on your specific panel. And if you can overclock, and how much will be entirely variable. Luckily, finding out what's possible with your monitor is incredibly simple, and it can be done from within NVIDIA's control panel in just a few clicks. Now listen in to learn what you need to know to see if you can squeeze a few extra hertz out of your monitor with NVIDIA's control panel. The NVIDIA control panel is only available if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card. If it is not installed, you can get it from the App Store, so just remember that. Let's dive in. First, open the NVIDIA control panel and click on Change Resolution under the Display section on the left side of the window. Make sure the monitor you want to overclock is selected. If you don't have multiple monitors, don't worry about this because your one and only monitor will already be selected. From here, click the Customize button, which will open a new customized window. Check the box next to Enable Resolutions Not Exposed by the Display. Then click the Create Custom Resolution button, which will open a Create New Custom Resolution window. You're going to create a custom resolution for your monitor that runs at a refresh rate above your monitor's advertised refresh rate. From within the Create Custom Resolution window, look for the value next to Refresh Rate or Hertz and click the up arrow next to it to increase the number by one. Click the Test button. If your screen goes black and your monitor complains it's not receiving a signal, don't panic. Wait a few moments and your desktop will reappear. This means your monitor failed the test and it was not able to run at a higher refresh rate. If your screen doesn't go black, but you encounter strange visual artifacting, that's also a sign you failed the test. However, even if you failed your first test, all hope is not lost. As far as testing goes, you'll have a better shot trying for higher frame rates at lower resolutions. For example, if you happen to have a 144Hz 1440p monitor, try running at 145Hz 1080p. This may work while 145 1440p doesn't. There is no guarantee of course, but it also goes without saying that if you fail a test at a single hertz above your refresh rate, you won't be able to pass tests at even higher refresh rates. Though if you do manage to pass the test, dismiss the test pass prompt window and click the OK button in the customize window, which returns you back to the change resolution area of the control panel where you started. Now you can select the custom resolution you've created and hit the apply button at the bottom right of the screen. And congratulations, you've overclocked your monitor. If you don't know what you're doing, it's best to leave the other fields in the create custom resolution window alone, like scan, type, timing, and color depth. Focus your tweaking on the refresh rate and resolution. Are you planning on seeing if your monitor can be overclocked? Well, let us know in the comments down below. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.